So we're going to first take a look at Kinesis data streams. Uh, and the way it works is you have producers on the left hand side, which are going to produce data, uh, which is going to send it to uh, the Kinesis data stream. And that data stream is going to then ingest that data. And it has shards, so it's going to take that data and uh, distribute it amongst its shards. And then it has consumers. And so consumers uh, with data streams, you have to manually configure those yourself uh, using some code. Uh, but the idea is you have these EC2 instances that are specialized to then uh, consume that data and then send it to something in particular. So we have a consumer that is specialized to sending data to Redshift, then DynamoDB, then S3, and then EMR, okay? So whatever you want the consumer to send it to, it can send it wherever it wants. Um, but the uh, great thing about data streams is that when data enters into the stream, it persists for quite a while. So it will be there for 24 hours by default. You could extend that up to 168 uh, hours. Uh, so if you need to do more with that data and you want to run it through multiple consumers or you want to do something else with it, you can definitely do that with it. Um, the way you pay for Kinesis data streams, it's like spinning up an EC2 instance, except you're spinning up shards, okay? And the... That's what's going to be the cost there. So as long as the shard is running, you pay X amount of cost for X amount of shards. Uh, and that is Kinesis data streams.